Hi, my name is Erin Hannafin, and I'm here to tell you about my aha moments of being a student at WNCC and surviving the first semester. Back then, during my high school years, I was not an active learner. I didn't take school very seriously. I ended the four years of high school with a 1.8 GPA, and I only took classes seriously if they were the classes to give me the credits to graduate. As much as I do regret that to this day, I am so proud and blessed to be able to get a chance to start over and do that during my college years. The degree that I'm willing to go for is my nursing degree. It has been a dream of mine. So that's been the goal that has kept me on my feet and kept me going through the entire year of school. The things that scared me the most about attending WNCC was, am I going to succeed? Is this really worth it? Could I be making more money than having a college degree and going through all of the school debt? Yes, this is totally worth it. I'm learning more than I did back then, and I am super proud to be able to accept all of these and get the schooling that I need in order to be in an amazing career that I have dreamed of. Keeping up with classes. The first two weeks of college was a lot. Usually when you start classes, it's the, hi, I'm this teacher and this is our class. Here's the syllabus and go home and read about it. But the first two weeks kind of kicked me in the butt with how much stuff we had to get done right away. With COVID-19 being an issue, all the teachers that I have attended classes for pushed, put so much stuff and work on our table saying, get this done so that we don't have to do it when we are online during COVID. It was a lot to handle and my time management was terrible. My time management was not so great. Sometimes I would have to miss softball practice and sometimes I would have a missing assignment and totally space out on everything that's been going on. I did kick myself in the butt for it, but having a planner and keeping everything organized was something that I was super happy of. I went through that planner every day to make sure everything was checked off the list and ready to be turned in and ready for me to go and participate with my softball team. Being an active learner is something that I thrive to be, asking questions, showing up to classes, like thinking of other ways something could go. And that's how I've learned throughout every class that I've been in. Going back to staying organized in my time management, it was a lot to have, like, lot to handle. My teammates wanted to go out to dinner, but I knew I had an essay due the next day that needed to be touched up and made sure that it was finished. And here and there, I would like to say yes, but there was a lot of no's. With those being no's, it kind of affected my time with the team and the college life of being a college student. With being time managed and having everything organized, I have kept a steady, uh, a steady path for myself to be able to do all of those amazing things with my teammates. Staying on top of things is something that was difficult, but with this Achieving College Success class, it has taught me how to make sure everything is on time, done perfectly, and kept me sane. <laughs> Finding my, my strengths and weaknesses. My strengths were very little. My weaknesses were really high, but with this college class, I have found out what my strengths were that overpowered my weaknesses. And that was something that I was super happy about. My motivation in classes were terrible. Every time I got a grade that I wasn't really proud of or should be proud of, but I knew I could do more, it turned down my motivation. I've had moments where I thought, is this a good idea? I think I should drop out. I don't see myself going for the next four years. Those thoughts came to mind a lot. But seeing that I do have goals and all the goals that I'm willing to achieve, that has helped me keep my feet on the ground and to continue these four, next four years. Of course, I'm going to have moments where I get down and think negatively, but after you think of negative thoughts, you always have to think of positive. And once you think of all the positives that can come in hand, that is what makes you want to continue all of the things that are being brought to your table. 
how I see myself to continue my the next four years of college is making sure that I keep in mind of all my work and organization and time management. And that's what great that that is what is great about this class is how it has helped you with your stress relieving problems, how to keep manage time, how to stay organized, how to keep a budget and to make sure that you are steady and going to great success. Staying on track is another thing that this class has helped me. This class has showed me all of the things that can happen and what will happen through the next four years and how to approach those positively and correctly. As much as I love the college life and I can't wait for it to continue, I'm excited to see what I can do on my own. I'm also excited to see all of the positive things that can come and all of the things of success that come my way. I am super excited for the next four years. I have confidence in myself. I have confidence in all of my resources that I can go to for help. And I'm so excited to just keep going with the softball and the games that will be happening next semester. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed my aha moments. Have a great night. See you soon.